Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. This is Reseller Reality Part 4 uh, and we're going to be going through my fourth week of February's sales, turnover and profit. Um, so I'm going to, if you don't know, I've been doing this little series of videos for the first three weeks of February. So this is going to be like the roundup video to, to, to round February, February off to show you guys A, what I managed in the final week in terms of sales, profit, etc. And how my whole month panned out. Um, and I will also show you some of my more interesting sales that I made in the last week as well. Um, so I'm going to get going. Uh, before I do, let me just say sales for the fourth week have not been amazing. They've actually been very consistent with the other three bad weeks I had, I suppose you could call them. I had one decent week in the middle, um, which was the second week of February. I had a decent second week, but then the third and the fourth week have been very similar, but I'll, I'll go through that in a moment. First, what I want to do is show you guys um, what I managed to sell, uh, some of my more interesting items. Um, so just switching over to my uh, browser view, and um, I didn't actually sell an awful lot of items this month. I think I sold 76 items this month, so not a lot. Um, but considering that, my, my average sale price per item is pretty good, so um, I'm not doing too badly. And here's a good example of that. Um, here's a pair of Hein Gerich motorbike, motorcycle jeans. Um, I picked these up at the boot fair last weekend on Sunday, paid a pound for them. They looked in great condition. I thought I was onto a complete home run. And um, I think I I was, uh, there was one flaw with them that the zip, as you can see on that picture there, the zip has, um, the, 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 the zip handle had broken off, which is not major. Other than that, the, the, they were in good condition. Um, really nice brand, Hein Gerich. I'm not a, a fan of motorcycles, um, but they, these sold very quickly for £25. And um, so decent profit from £1, obviously. Um, quite happy with that. Next item. Now, this is another item I picked up last weekend at the boot fair and quite an interesting one because of how much money I didn't make. Um, and I did say that correctly. I paid five pounds for this megaphone and um, ended up selling it for twenty five ninety nine. And um, there was shipping on top as well, a thirty five pound shipping for FedEx shipping uh, to Canada. Um, what's interesting about this sale is um, I'll go through the profit and stuff of it later. But what's interesting about this is this was actually um, going off. Uh, it had to be delivered very quickly to Canada um, via FedEx or who I, I think I use UPS actually. And um, it was going to be used in a new ABC Disney show. Um, I can't remember what the name of the show. I think it's We All Rise or something like that. We All Rise Up or I don't know what it's called, but it's a new show that's starting and it was for that. Um, pretty cool in that sense. Uh, but profit profit wise, it wasn't as great as I would have liked. Like I said, I paid five pounds, sold it for twenty six, um, and there was like thirty five pound shipping on top as well. Um, but I'll I'll go through why it w didn't end up being as great as I thought when I when I show you the spreadsheet. Next item I want to show you guys, it's the Denon DRM Precision Audio Stereo Cassette Deck. Um, this was part of a job lot of Hi-Fi I bought for off of eBay for about £23, £24, so it owes me about £6. Sold it for £35, postage was about £5.78, I think, or something along those lines. So, you know, okay profit in that as well. Next item, this is really nice. This was a Brother AX30 electric typewriter. Um, I actually got this with a bunch of uh, Brother... Um, ribbon cartridges which have already put me in profit because I only paid fiver for the typewriter and and the actual cartridges and I and I did actually accept an offer of 40 pounds so it's not 60 I accepted an offer of 40 pounds for that um because I was in profit and I thought just get rid of it I need some space back so I'm trying to get rid of some of my bulkier items next item this was a nice quick sale this was a auction pickup I bought this Technic CD player along with a Technics tape deck, which I still haven't even listed. Um, but I bought both of those items for £6.60 at auction, including the hammer price. Um, and this alone has sold for £40 and was shipped to the global shipping via, via global shipping program. So I had to just I had to send it to Derby and they will send it on. Next item, um, it's the Hoover Dustet Vintage Mustard Yellow Vacuum. I just thought it was a really cool looking item. Um, it's not often that you see these, they're very unique, um, and um, someone else thought so as well. I paid a fiver, sold it for 23 but obviously you've got to bear in mind postage, fees, etc. have to come out of that as well. 
Next item, this is something I picked up at auction the previous week. I bought a job lot of four tripods, well they were meant to be all tripods, and I paid £13 or plus, well if you include the hammer price it's £14.70 uh, or something like that. Um, and um, amongst them was this Manfrotto studio light stand. Now that, Manfrotto is a brand to look out for amongst... Um, uh, tripods it's a very well respected Italian manufacturer and um, this is just a studio light stand it was in quite worn condition quite used heavily used because it was like a pro bit of kit but that sold for 35 pounds which is really awesome for me as well so uh, you know put me in decent profit on the deal getting near the end um, of what I sold PlayStation bundle it took its time to sell it took nearly a month I think um, but I asked £40 with five games. I bought this at auction as well, um, and I think I paid £10, so with the fees it was £11. So from £11 to £40, pretty decent flip, uh, minus obviously postage and fees. And finally, this was a great flip. I got this off of eBay for a pound, um, sold it for 40 minus fees and postage. So nice little sell there. And the guy actually bought this to my house as well, which is really awesome. So I just paid a pound for that and, and it worked out really well for me. Um, now I'm going to go through my actual uh, fourth week of um, of sales. Let me just see if I can make this a bit better. There we go. Okay, so this is actually my fourth week of sales. Um, nothing spectacular. I didn't sell a massive amount of items and it, it works out basically that the amount of items I sold were valued at £50. I sold them on eBay for £452. After you take off eBay fees, including the insertion fee, um, the PayPal fees and the delivery, um, my total costs were 164.44, which left me with a actual profit um, of £238, and that's 52% profit on return. Just in case you guys aren't aware, profit on return is a really good way of just giving you a quick idea of whether what you're selling is profitable and how profitable it is. So basically what this is saying to me is that if I sell £452 of kit worth on eBay, um, I'm walking away with £238 profit, which is 52%. So that's that's basically what it's telling me. So it was it, it, I found out about it through my old job where I used to be a rep for Nestle and every cash and carry you go to, um, whether it's uh, you know, any of the main major cash and carries you go to, when you buy something from them on the receipt, it will always have the POR number. So if a customer is buying a box or, or, or a pack of 48 cans of Coca-Cola or something, they want to know that at the recommended retail price, what profit are they making? And it will tell the customer that you're buying this pack for this amount of money. If you sell them all at retail, you make this amount and the percentage profit on return is that. So it's just a quick way of, of giving you a, like a visual indicator of how profitable an item is. So ideally, if you're making good profit on return, I mean, anything above you know, I think anything above 50% obviously is, is good, um, you know, depending on the value of the item as well. So, um, so that's worth bearing in mind. Now, I, I want to kind of um, highlight a couple of sales amongst this lot. So, I mean, you know, as the sales go, £238 is not great. And if I actually show you week one, it was £284 at 66% profit on return. Week three was uh, £269 at 65% profit on return. And even though I sold more in week four than I did in week three um, and in week one, my profit on return was 52%, so a lot lower than it was on the other weeks. The other weeks, week three is 65%. Um, and week one is 66%. So week four was only 52%. So even though I sold more, I actually took, you know, my, my actual money in my pocket was 238. Um, so the actual money I ended up with in my pocket was a lot less than on the other days. Now, bear in mind, out of that 238, you've got to factor in your tax and national insurance as well. So it's not great. I had one anomaly week, which really should be what I should be getting every week at least. This is my aim. Um, and I have been building towards it. I'm now above, I think I'm on about 320 listings. I've started to list as well a lot more than I was because this, this doing these videos and having these figures in front of me has really kind of 
um, kept it at the front of my mind because I'm one of those easily distracted kind of guys that I'll find any reason to do other stuff sometimes. And um, But when you've got it in black and white like this, it, it does show you. And you do have to bear in mind that it is February. It is a quiet month. And, I, you know, for, for 76 um, items sold, the actual amounts are actually not too bad. Um, you know, obviously it's not great, but I've got to look at the positives of, of things as well because there's no point just getting down. You've got to look at the positives as well. And the positive here is that even with only 76 items sold throughout the month, um, you know, it's it, the actual amounts are not bad. Like my average sale price is not bad. So um, anyway, I wanted to just show you a couple of those sales that, that I showed you earlier, what my more interesting sales, just to show you how much money you end up with. So, for example, here's the Hein Gerrick pants. Spent a pound, sold them for 25. The privilege of selling them cost me £6.50, pretty much, and which meant, in the end, my total profit was £17.51. So that's what you end up with free. Sell something for 25 you end up with 17 if you've spent a pound on it. And obviously, the more you spend, the smaller that profit number is going to be. Now, this is where the Eagle Megaphone comes in. So I was really excited at first because it was a five pound megaphone, beautiful, really cool. I had a lot of fun playing around with it. And if you include what I charged for postage, which was like 35 pounds, I did check the postage, but I should have charged a five or more really. Um, but if you include postage, they paid me 60 pounds, 99 pence for the megaphone and the postage to Canada. Um, excuse that. Um, so basically eBay fees, and PayPal fees and delivery cost meant, and the delivery cost was 3768. <laughs> That's really irritating. Bear with me, guys. I'm just going to quickly change that. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. So, um, what it meant, like I said, is the, the, the postage cost turned out to be 3768. I'd basically factored in 35 pounds that's what i thought it was going to cost ended up costing 37.68 but by the time you took off the fees off of the postage as well as the item and that cost you can see my total cost the privilege for me sending this megaphone out to this um film production company um it's cost me 45 pounds um to do that so for the privilege of, of, of selling on eBay that megaphone to this company has cost me £45. Um, and then that means my net total there was £15. Take off the fiver it cost me to, 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 to buy it. I only made £10.46 on that, on that um, megaphone, um, which is a measly 17% profit on return. It is a profit, but it's measly. And for the amount of effort it took, to make it didn't take much effort really but you know the excitement and everything i was quite excited about getting the sale i obviously didn't think it through enough um you know I, there was two factors that were wrong here i obviously didn't charge enough for the megaphone itself and i didn't charge enough for the postage so in the end i ended up with a, a, a profit to reflect that um on the other hand the den and deck cost me six pounds sold it for 35 after postage and fees i ended up with 20 pounds pure profit so that's 58 percent. that's pretty good um the technic cd player cost me or well, i worked it out to be four pounds if you work out the value of the other one um you know because i paid six pounds something for both of them six pounds something for, uh, six pounds sixty for both of them uh 40 quid um with the postage and fees eight pounds 93 it cost me to sell the item which meant i cleared 27 pounds um, so, you know, that gives you an idea. Um, it, and and, and here's, here is the Panasonic, finally. I'll just quickly go through the final one, which is the CD stereo uh, that I got for a pound, sold it for 40 after postage, which turned out to be Um, I, it, I've ended up with £26.25, which is okay, 65% profit on return, but you've got to bear, in, bear that in mind. And when I'm pricing my items, I'm aware that some of them are going to cost me more to post, um, but... If you're happy with the, with the profit you're getting, then that's fine. Um, now, what I want to finally show you is how that looks for the whole month. So for the whole month, I only managed 76 sales. That's a lot lower than usual. Um, and even though I've now got more than I've ever had listed, it's turned out to be a lot lower than usual. Um, I normally manage, uh, in the last few months in a row, I've been doing at least 100 plus sales a month, like 100, 100 to between 100 and 120 sales a month. So it's a lot lower. However, thankfully, the the quality of item that I'm selling means that the, the average selling price is higher. 
which means that I spent the the stock I spent um the, the, the stock is worth 200 that I that I paid for it I sold it for 2000 pretty much after fees eBay fees PayPal delivery my total cost were 530 which meant my actual profit in hand was 1293 um which is 63% profit on return so um, and obviously that's pre-tax, so you've got to take tax national insurance out of that. So not a great month. I mean, you'll, you'd, you'd probably earn more in a basic job. Um, but personally, I love doing what I'm doing. Um, I really enjoy that I've got no boss telling me what to do. And there's there's comfort to be taken from the fact that I only sold 76 items, so it was a slow month. And, you know, as I build and grow my store, I will do better. I mean, I've done better in, in, in the other months. It just so happens that I've I've um, started to record and make these videos from February. So I just wanted to be honest with you. It hasn't been a great February. I've actually earned more money in previous months with less stock listed. But it, you've, it's, you've got to take it all into all into account. And the direction I'm moving in is I, I, I'm getting better value per sale. But clearly, there's a lot of work to be done um, on my eBay business. And thank God for my wife, um, well, my wife working, really, because this is just like a, at the moment, I'm earning like a minimum wage job. Um, but at least I haven't got a boss. So that's the way I see it, guys. Um, so, guys, I hope you found that video useful, that insight useful. Um, I've been completely honest with you. Those figures are 100% accurate down to the penny, pretty much. Um so uh, if you've got any further questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. I really appreciate the comments I'm getting. Uh, leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'll endeavor to answer them as soon as possible. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.